Kurt Otto comes in today, the junior quarterback who is averaging 17 completions per conference game, and right away they're going to go to the shotgun offense. We could be here till 5 o'clock. Right. <laughs> I predicted he might throw 50. Whoa! Otto's, we almost had a quick six. Otto's first pass is batted down by defensive tackle Dana Muehlhauser, who was a running back in high school who rushed for over 2,000 yards in his career. University of North Dakota has had to use about six different combinations on the defensive front as you look at that Bison offensive lineup. Len Kretschmann has really come into his own as a receiver this year. And the offensive line for North Dakota State. You look at Mike Favor, the center. He'll be battling Harvey McMahon, who was a fullback at Red River High School in his high school career. Bench from long count on second down and six. To the near side, this is Molstry. He's got the corner. And now on first and 10, inside the 30 at about the 27-yard line. Benstrom with the speed option. This is Stark to the outside. He has some yards, lots of room, and Stark will score the first points of the afternoon. Chad Stark from 27 yards out has put North Dakota State on the board. Roger Thomas says, no question, we're an underdog, but all it takes is 60 minutes of good football, and stranger things have happened. So he's got his team mentally ready to come in here and play a good football game this afternoon. Benstrom brings him up. He needs two touchdowns to tie Walter Payton's Division II career rushing record for touchdowns. And he needs three to break. Benstrom wants to throw it. Uh -oh. Has the man wide open. Goodbye. And this is Aaron Oden. He will score from 46 yards out. And that is Oden's first touchdown reception Under on the season. This time. Out of a pro set. Otto rolls out, looking for time, and Charlie Stock and Flint Fleming are there to shut it down at the 23-yard line. So again, the Sioux will be faced with a third down and 12 situation. He's a defensive coordinator for the University of North Dakota. He came from South Dakota, and you know about the two battles that the Coyotes and Bison had last year. This is Kretschmann on his first reception of the afternoon into Sioux territory at the 49 as you look at the all-time leading receiver for a single season at North Dakota State, Len Kretschmann. You notice, uh, again, Ventrum looking to the right there. <laughs> They're playing a little cozy, looking for the dry spots in the field, and that's right where they gave the ball to Kretschmann uh, for the pickup on that pass play. We asked Tim Burke, uh, defensive coordinator of UND, if he was going to pull some of his tricks out of his bag from South Dakota, use some of the designs that they used a year ago, and he said, absolutely. And when the Bison have gone to the outside, uh, they've had a little bit of trouble today. So here they are inside, and this is Chad Stark. He's real close first to another down and 10 for the Bison at the Sioux 37-yard line. Kretschmann and Johnson to the near side. They're the wide receivers. Ventrum, option tight end side. This is Molstry inside the 30 to the 29. Ball's in the middle of the field, and the officials have told both Roger Thomas and Earl Solomonson they would place the ball on a dry spot. This is Kretschmann in the slot. He's got a completion, but he is quickly wrapped up on the far side of the field by Burt Cummings. Cummings, a sophomore defensive back out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. They give him nine yards on the play, however. There's the completed pass. And Cummings comes over and then wrestles him out of bounds just short of the first down. Well, you've seen the Sioux play the Bison pretty tough on the option on the outside, so the Bison are attacking that with the pass play and running the dive on the and inside. They can get a first down just inside the one. North Dakota will dig in with a 6-5 defense. Bentram again. Bentram, pitch Good back. Pitch. This is Lloyd. He's in. Touchdown. North Dakota State so leads it 20 to nothing, and we'll be back. Play. It'll go for North. They didn't gain much on the play, but the holding penalty is going to set them back. A There's a little lob. The and uh, shut, uh, catching them from behind and flipping them down. But uh, they're pacing off the uh, holding penalty. coach and athletic director in the Minneapolis area, so he comes from a long line of athletes. Otto, one big third rush. Down. There's the first sack. And Scott Genzel all the way back at the 40-yard line as they 
blitz the linebackers that time. A 53-yard field goal attempt. Snap is down. Beatty's boot. Ooh, it hits, hits the, the crossbar. crossbar. Wow. Fourth down now. The ball's at the 38-yard line. They need about a yard and a half for a first down. Split backs behind Otto. And he wants to throw it. Across the middle, it's batted down. And I believe it was Dana Muehlhauser who for the second time today got a hand on it. Now. On first down and 10 from his own 38-yard line. This is Stark. And he bowls his way across the 45 to about the 47-yard line. Chad Stark is the only football player that Don Morton ever told that he would play offense. They never tell a player they can guarantee him a position. And that's exactly what we've seen, so I guess we'll see more of that. Bentram now on the inside. This is Stark. And nothing east-west about that. That's strictly north-south type stuff. And what we've seen all year long, Chad Stark holds the NCAA Division II career rushing yardage record in a playoff. Nothing man front again. They're going after him. And Bradley, who almost had his first one blocked, Gets it to Willis Jaycox. A fair catch. Loses the football at the 10 of the Bison Habit. And those are the kind of mistakes you just can't make against North Dakota State. And now the Bison are going with an unbalanced line to the near side. This is Bentram. And oh, Bentram yep, is in for the score. Bentram has the touchdown. Bentram has just broken the North Central Conference season record for touchdowns rushing in a single season. His 21st of the year. To the near side, Odin and Kretschmann. Thompson's playing Odin right on the line of scrimmage. This is Molstry. He's across the 15 to about the 17-yard line. Second down and five now. They'll spot it at about the 16-yard line. Bentram has a receiver on each side of the field. 5-2 defense for the Sioux. Long count by the Bison quarterback. Bentram down the line. This is Lloyd. Lloyd has room. He's got speed. And he's at the midfield stripe and knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Bentram now under center has Stark and Lloyd as the setbacks. Bentram wants to throw it. This is Stark out of the backfield at the 45-yard line. I talked with Jeff Bentham. He said the Bison offense had some problems getting the outside last time because the Sioux are flying and causing havoc with the perimeter game. He said he thinks they're going to stick it inside a little more, but they'll still keep Monas and dump it off with a pass now and again. UND has done a very fine job today on the perimeter playing the option. In fact, the touchdown run by Stark and also this one just a few moments ago by Lloyd are the only two big gains they've had on the outside. This is Kretschmann, and he'll be close to Bentram another Bison. Sends Odin down. and Kretschmann to the wide side of the field. 116 remaining here in the first half. Bentram, he's looking to throw the football. And this is Odin, and it's incomplete, flag. and there's going to be a flag. Two receivers to the near side. Bentram on the quarterback draw. And the Sioux in good pursuit, getting Bentram out of bounds inside the 25. They'll mark it at the 24-yard line on fourth down. Bentram has time in the flat. It's complete to Tommy Gleason for a first down. 10 from the 19-yard line. This is Stark. He's got a lot of room, and six. he's got a touchdown. Chad Stark, his second touchdown of the afternoon. This one from 19 yards out. Straight ahead football, just the way Stark likes to do it. Takes the handoff from Bentram. And look at that running room. There's a shakes off one there. And he has eyes for the end zone, and he's in there. Look at that. Seven carry, 76 yards, averaging over 10 yards a carry, and his second touchdown of the day.